Brandon, it looked like late in the first half when he had the after Antonio's punt return, finally decided, hey, I'm just going to run the football on these drives. What were they doing kind of early to, to kind of frustrate the offense? Yeah, we felt like uh, we they did a good job of stopping the run, you know, early on. Um, and, you know, we felt like if we had a little bit of tempo, um, which we showed in that drive, you know, it, it helped, you know, get our guys going a little bit more too. So we got a little momentum there with that drive and, and especially in the run game, um, which we really needed to get done. Um, so I was just proud of how they, uh, our guys finished, you know, especially in that second half and just, just responded. And they've been able to do that all year long, but, but yeah, that one drive was, was big for us. We talk about the middle eight in the last four minutes of the second quarter and the first four minutes of the third quarter. And, we're really doing a good job in those scenarios. And obviously the defense gave us some good field position tonight, um, and especially on that drive. TJ, the, the early interception, what did you see there? And then this newfound confidence that you have, did that kind of allow you to, to rebound from that and put together a really solid effort? Yes, sir, uh, on the interception right there, uh, we have like a scene going on right there. Uh, Frank covered three of the field. Um, I got a little bit of pressure. Probably should just got out of there, just threw it away, tried to make a play right there off my back foot. Not the smartest decision right there. I ended up in the pick. I just probably just throw it away right there. Uh, and then we were just able to battle back. Uh, I feel like uh, no one lost hope on the sideline. Defense played an unbelievable game tonight. Made only three points. Hats off to the defense, man. They gave us a chance each and every time, making stops, making turnovers, sacks, just giving us the ball back countless times. And, I felt like we just you know on offense, no one, no one panicked. We just kept playing, we just got our rhythm. And I felt like push trees. I felt like we finished really well tonight. Can you describe that forty-yard run? I mean, yeah, I got all the way down at the fifteen-yard line, and I kind of came up the pitch. Is it yeah. forty yards? I don't know. Wow. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, awesome. yeah, I know. Um, I kind of yeah, uh, made a draw, on it, made, made a good cut, uh, just running. Uh, thought for a second it might be gone. Man, reality hit. Uh, corner came. I went fast enough. I tried to put my foot in the ground and cut back. And I was just going too fast. And I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't cut back. And I just got to trip over myself right there. Got to do a better job just putting my foot in the ground. Just keep going north and south or just making that cut slowing down. Just keep my feet on it. Any other questions? What does it say about the resolve of this offense to not play well? For 29 minutes and you finish the first half the way you did and carry that momentum into the second half. DJ. Oh, oh. I think that shows the heart, man. I think it shows the heart of the coaching, uh, the staff we have here, Coach Streeter and all the other position coaches. I think that shows the toughness of the players on our offense, uh, offensive line, running backs, tight ends, receivers, quarterback. I think it just shows the resilience that we have. Uh, I think that starts in practice each and every day, finishing out practice, finishing out each and every drill, each and every period. And I feel like that's what it uh, feel like that's what it came down to. Uh, all the guys on the offense, we all trust each other. No one's pointing fingers on the sideline. No one's complaining. Uh, everyone's just out there just want to keep competing. I feel like we did a really good job competing coming into the second half, knowing what we had to do and coming out there and executing. Do you think Brandon Cooks is going to going back to TDJ there after after the pick and everything? That confidence is really starting to just show through for him that. It really didn't seem to bother him all that much, and, and he just comes back and continues to make the throws. Absolutely. I mean, there's a ton of confidence um, with DJ and with me calling plays, you know, and, and with, with having confidence in him going back out there and making the right decisions. Um, there's like, like you said, there's no panic whatsoever. Um, you know, it's, it's just a whole different demeanor than it was a year ago, and, and everybody's, you know, confident and just say, hey, let's go, let's move forward. And, and, uh, grow past this and learn from it and, and move on. And that's what he did. And um, just continues to, you know, overcome some of the adversity in games and, um, and just continues to be a great leader for our offense. And so my confidence is sky high with him and, and with our offense. Knowing that you have to go back on the road next week at Florida State, that last drive, is that about just finding some continuity, some rhythm? And, and kind of ending on a high note? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the whole, the whole thought was, Man, we got to get into a better tempo, and we got to, um, you know, continue to attack. I mean, that's what we do, and that's what we're we're supposed to do, you know. And so, just to have 
um, that drive at the end and finish and, and, and score like that was, was big. I think it was a 88 yard drive or something. So that was a big confidence booster for our guys. And, and, uh, Hey, we gotta be road warriors. You know, that's the, if you want to, if you want to be champions and, and, and win championships, you got to win on the road. And, and so, um, that was a big win. I told our guys after the, the, um, game tonight, just, man, coming to Boston college and, and winning 31 to three, I'll take that every single time. You know, obviously we've got plenty to clean up plenty to clean up each and every week. And, um, you know, just like life, man, I wish life was easy all the time. You know, is that, it's not easy. There could be adversity every single week, every single day. And so, um, and that's what I'm proud of our guys about is just being able to respond. And that's what they've been able to do. After that block field goal that y'all had, did you feel like that was sort of a moment to maybe take, take control of the game at that point? Yeah. Right after that? Yeah. Anytime, man, we just, Gaining momentum, that's the name of the game, you know, and, and our like like DJ said, our defense did a heck of a job um, of really stoning those guys and, and then had uh, that block field goal and um, just played well on special teams and in any way we can create momentum and um, and our guys feed off of that. And so it was good to see our guys respond after that play. The touchdown that he threw to Brandon in the end zone, just from where we were, that, that looks like a throw maybe not a lot of guys can make based yep. off of the coverage that was there in the tight window. Yeah, that was uh, – that's confidence right there. You know, um, you know, he's got a ton of confidence. And, and I think uh, on that play, we were trying to get a one-on-one -on -one into the boundary uh, to Adam Randall. Um, and uh, they played a little bit of a bail corner there, played some outside leverage, just didn't look real clean uh, to him. And, and he did a great job of staying poised and, and uh, using his eyes and, and going to his next progression. And then it was really good to see him not just make that throw, but then Brandon Spector make that play in traffic too. You know, DJ put it where it needed to be, but there was a lot of traffic there as well. And, and uh, Brandon did a great job of finishing. So um, really, really positive right there. Any other questions? Thank you guys all very right. much. Thank you all very Appreciate much. You. We'll bring Coach Sweeney down here as soon as he's ready.